Hey man, what's up, what's happening? You already know who it is and what it is. It's your boy, Nephew Q, host of the world's most dangerous sports show, it's Beyond dangerous. the Game. And we appreciate everybody who's tuning in via Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitter Live, all Sir. the lives. Thank you for tapping in with us, and especially for those who are listening over the radio waves. But let's get right on into the proceedings. We got in the building with me. We got some more guests coming through, but, you know, they on CP. Come on. Uh, so. <laughs> That's so sad, bro. <laughs> they on CP. Never side. changes. So we got in the building with me. We got Dak's biggest supporter, LeBron James, President Fan Club member, <laughs> Ralph Clay in the building. Clay, what's happening with you? What's up, world? BBN, we back. What's, what's, what's BBN? They try to count us out, man. They it, thought we was going to get a new coach. They thought we was going to struggle getting recruits here. You know what I'm saying? Give us about three weeks, two and a half, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? And then and, what? And Pope works it all out. And then what? And Pope works it all out. And, we'll we'll and, see y'all in November. <laughs> For, to do what? We'll see y'all in no To thing. do what? So uh, Mar so Mark Pope gets out of here. He gets two or three guys off the transfer portal now. Two or three? Two or three? Two, two or three guys. Maybe like seven. I mean, it's cute. It's cute what he's doing. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 it's cute saying? what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But you know, shout out, shout out to Mark Pope. Thank you. Shout Thank out to you. shout out to Mark Pope, my coach. Yes, sir. Uh, he is Pope. he is destined to finish last in the SEC. <laughs> so shout, shout out to Mark Pope. What's up? But nah, you, you, to you it, can't man. be. All, what's, what's your thoughts on all these? Because you know, from last week when we had Winston Bennett on, I don't. Y'all only had the, the Drexel yeah, kid. I think that's all we had, bro. Him, uh, uh, I think his name's Colin Chandler and uh, that, Travis Perry. How you feel now? I'm, I'm excited, bro. Like uh, why? Listen, bro. I. For me, it's just new, man. I just feel like I feel like great things are coming this year. I think we have a coach who's going to teach X's and O's. I think our offense will be different, and it's like y'all like I don't. That's what I don't get. I don't get it. one minute. Talk to me. Bro. One minute we have a coach for 15 years, and all we hear is he's a great recruiter, but he can't coach. Uh huh. And I say. We have a coach now who's going to come in and actually coach these players. Are you sure he's going to coach? A hundred percent sure okay. he's going to coach. hundred percent. Right. Okay. So for me, it's like I'm not saying that Kentucky was going to win a championship next year. That's what I heard. But what, where we are from when Mark Pope was just hired, um, I guess three weeks ago, man, I, I feel good with where we at, man. I feel really good with where we you, at. You're this, it's Daniel. You you hear this? UK fans is good where they at, bro. What else are we? What what, what else are we supposed to do? <laughs> they good where they at, Daniel. You know what I'm Hey man, uh, Ralph's my guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Me and Ralph usually see eye to eye for the most part. But what, what you talking about? I don't think Mark Pope is a bad coach. It's just, I put it to you like this: Toby won a championship, right? Right. But with Toby Rick won Pitino's the players with majority of Rick Pitino's mm -hmm. players. Right. Right. But what what Tubby Smith accomplished with his own recruits, he mm -hmm. still was a good coach. Absolutely. Y'all didn't win a championship, but y'all had, what, some 30-win seasons? We had some runs. We had a few runs. They had a cute little run. Y'all yeah. had some elite eights. I don't know if yeah. you made another Dwayne, I think that was one of the years Dwayne Wade and uh, yeah, Marquette put us out. Yep. You're welcome. So, I mean. <laughs> you got a Marquette fan. Get out of here. So, I mean, if that's what y'all are cool with, and I don't think y'all are because y'all ran Cal out, <clears throat> but uh, if y'all cool with, like, Sweet 16s, you got all right, coach. You can take these C plus B minus players and do their thing. I'm not hating. That's just the type of players he but, gets. I, I'm hating. So, so my thing is I'll like, you know I'm it's, hating, it's, so. it's for me. It's hard to judge Mark Pope and say that he can't bring the players in when you look at the schools that he was once at. Let's let's just go with the last school he was at. Mm -hmm. Certain players were never going to be recruited at BYU. Period. Nah. Okay. Never. So it's just like for me, with people saying, if you're okay with this, if you're okay with that. We are in year one. Uh -huh. We are three weeks into it higher. The man had to have a roster to even go out there and play basketball. Let's just give credit where credit's due. I'm just happy with what he's done so far with the hand that he's been dealt. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm giving credit. I'm not saying championship or bust. I'm not saying we're going to win the SEC. I just think we have a team that can compete. I do think that. Okay, because I remember you was on the other end of the fence. He was. Not too long ago, so I was wondering. He, he, he came around. Okay, yeah. yeah he, he came Cause around. Because I, I we like... didn't know. We didn't know. Nobody, I, out of anybody I, I talked to when this whole UK job became came open, not one person said Mark Pope. Okay. Not one. They still shouldn't. Nah, we did. He, they, we got the right guy. Do you? 
I really, man, I just look at everything the man has done. I think the man understands Ralph. what it means to be a Kentucky Ralph. head coach, what's going to come with the fan base, what's going to come with the pressure, what's going to come with the expectations. He first started with getting a decent, uh, I'm not going to say more than decent, a really good coaching staff to hire Alvin Brooks from Baylor, to get Jason Hart from the G League at night, and to get the guy that came with him from BYU. That's a legit coaching staff. You have you have Mark mm-hmm. Fox, who's been around the game for a long time. Mm-hmm. So he started there. And just look at the players, man. I, I just want y'all to just go look at the tape of some of the players that we got. I'm not saying they're the best players in the nation. I understand that, people. But they are decent players, so and they can play the hey, game hey, of basketball. Hey, I put together a decent team, like roster. Yeah, that's all, uh, but he did what he could with well, what he had. That's real. Like, give credit where credit is due. How long until he has to reach the Elite Eight? Couple years, four. I give him uh, maybe four, two, max. three. Yeah, you say two or three? No, I, I say in two year, or three. What in year three? There, I, I I can see UK in the lead. Eh? Oh, you see them there? Yeah. I thought we were talking about how long does he have before he has to get get there? there yeah. I see UK in the lead eight in the next. I say in, in at least year three. Wow. You you telling me come on in? That's optimistic. That, uh, that, nah, that ain't optimistic. That's crazy. That's what that's what they did. We got goo who just ends in the building as well. Fellow UK fan, I got to hear what he got nah, to nah, say. Nah, nah, that ain't optimistic, Daniel. I got to hear bro. what he got to say. I'm gonna say this. I I don't like. I said I don't want to hate on Mark Pope because I do. If you coaching at a school where kids can't have sex and it's 2024, on, it's come not on, it's not 1980. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? On, so bro. there's just some people that are just not going to go there because who, even what's option. the point of being a top college athlete and you can't even bask in the glory? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can't you can't revel in you you can't partake in why you became an athlete. <laughs> right, right. So you know what I'm saying? So you, you I can't me? hate on him there. <laughs> then there's other school. He did pretty good at the, at the did, school he coached bro. there before, but did he? Bro, I, this is my hope. Thing. Got the, he got the same results as Cal. He's not a bad coach, X's and O's wise. But he, neither was Billy G. But how are you gonna get these top recruits? And, and we can't say the name because kids don't care about the name no more. It I didn't say Kentucky. I said Alvin Brooks, Jason Hart. Okay, okay. Right. We gonna see the next two, three years. I think everybody going through the same problem though. They are. Like, Duke, but everybody's giving UK the business. Duke loaded. But shy of being recruiting for six years. Thank, thank, Daniel. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Daniel. We're gonna talk about Cooper. How long? Be- because the yeah, thing yeah. is, he's tough though. Yeah. They put Pope yeah. on the yeah. same level as a Shire. Like Pope has been in UK for six years, bro. He has been here for three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. And, and, come on, bro. The and, expectations of Pope in three weeks. <laughs> Goodness gracious, thank man. you. That's why I came. I want some more dark skin input. Is, is, on is that what you go? Okay, what time it is? Bro, Good. Was, we, we talk. We, we talking about UK, man. You know, Raf is in his feelings about UK right I'm, now. I'm happy right hey, now. Hey, how, how, you, how do you feel? How you feeling about the roster I'm right now? I'm super happy. Thank you. Okay, I'm super happy. Uh, wait, well, hold on. I thought you weren't drinking the Kool-Aid no more. What happened? No. You weren't drinking the, the Kool-Aid. Oh, the Kool- okay, the cow Kool-Aid. Okay. <laughs> that was so okay. Hey, okay. Goo, it was four loco, man. It wasn't cool. Oh, yeah. Man, Mad Dog 2020 out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. Hold that thought real quick, Goo. We got a caller on the line. Caller, what's your name, man? Yeah, it's your favorite referee. What's up? We got Sean Gurdon, the world's worst referee on the line, and he's a Louisville Cardinal fan. Hey, uh, Sean, get it off your chest, man. Hey, I just want to know who's doing a better job, Mark Pope or, or Pat, Pat Kelsey. It's not even close. He's doing a good job. Y'all, uh, Go ahead, Tom. I mean, I, I mean, have you looked at Moore's roster and what they got coming in? It's all right. <laughs> what you say, Ralph? It's cute. It's cute. It's a cute little roster? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sean. Yeah, look. Hey, I think Pat Kelsey has... Today, because you know we're great. Who they got great? Who they got on campus? Who they got on campus? Oh, Sabar? Uh, no, it's uh, yeah, top Sabar, guy. Sabar's on campus today. Hey, Sean, so I got I got to get you on record right now, my guy. You since, since you you know bumping your gums, got your chest all poked out. How many wins y'all getting this season? Twenty-four. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Hey, Sean. Hey, why y'all, y'all looking at me, Sean? Hey, Sean. Don't, don't look at me. Look I, at Sean. I think you did drugs, bro. <laughs> No, I don't do drugs. All right, like, he's, put a, he's, put, he's put the team together. He's putting the team together. 
Everybody likes his style. It, I mean, it's similar to Mark Poe. So when Kentucky and Louisville play, don't su- don't be surprised if there's 63 thrown up between the two teams. Uh, you know we throwing up the three, so yeah, yeah, y'all better come to the party. I'm just trying. I'm trying to figure out where these 24 wins is coming yeah, I'm, from. I'm confused too. Gonna use that cow scheduling. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that what it is? All cupcakes. <laughs> well, with the way Louisville set up, it might not be no cupcakes for them. Yeah, It'll be a good season for y'all if y'all win oh, 18. Hey. hey, look, and 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 they play in the Battle for Atlantis, where you got Gonzaga. I think you got Baylor. I mean, there's like six, seven really good teams in there. And I'm just saying, watch out for Louisville. Louisville will make the tournament next year. So when okay. y'all do lose all those games, what do you say then? <laughs> hey, look, Kenny Payne is gone. He's gone. Kentucky <laughs> <laughs> is gone. Oh, uh, man, so we got Sean with the 24 oh, wins. I, I know you've been keeping up with UK because you're a closet UK fan. What That's... do you think about all the, what are, uh, the moves that UK is doing right now? Oh, they're cute. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that's what I expect. A Loserville fan, I expect oh, that answer, man. man. Hey, Sean, my guy, I appreciate you for calling in again. Sean, I know we got to get you in the studio real quick one time. All right, anytime, bro. All right, thanks for calling in, Sean. Mike said uh, 24 divided by three. 24 <laughs> divided by three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got I, I said y'all show Sean counts like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 18, 22, 23, 24. Hey, man. We great. To take a quick commercial break on Beyond the Game on WLXU 93.9 FM. When we come back, we will talk about Goo's favorite topic, LeBron James. Ooh. When we come back on Beyond the Game. Man, <laughs> I'm going to be nice today. <laughs> nah, don't be nice. Nah. I like what you said, though, today. What, what I say? What you I said do? that LeBron, Steph, and KD should team up. Oh, you already one last, was going to lose then. One last run. See, Daniel's yeah. the only real Lakers fan, bro. No, no, no. Uh, two real we Lakers fans. Yeah, that's, that's the only one I listen to. I like to, that idea, though. Yeah. I, what, very, LeBron, uh, Steph, and KD? They're out on the back end of their career. Why, why not go, you know, one you last know little run at this point? Ronnie got to be on the uh, – <laughs> Is he going to the – is he going he to can, the draft? He can practice. No, he ain't going to the draft. That's all I was going to say. He's going to some other team. Don't do that to yourself. We, yeah, I think Bron's out. Yeah. Out of L.A.? Yeah. That's it this time. This time. I mean, he's still going to live there. But he's I just going to go wherever out. his son can be drafted I to. I think Bron, he's going to have to go somewhere to be a glorified third option. But I'm going to save that take for the show. Oh, yeah. Let's see what spirit that is. That is cool. I mean, he was still the best player on the Lakers. I mean, dude, it was at least 50 points. AD, AD, it's the thing. I I like AD. There we go. AD is a cool person. Like, AD, I met AD, and I think he kind of fucked with me and my nigga because (laughs) we just happened to cross paths in public, and we wasn't fanned out. Yeah. And we was, he's like, "What up?" I was like, "What up?" And then. It became cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I mean, AD, you know what I mean? Oh, cool. That's, so that's because they, be, they so like that, that shit, A lot man. of uh, Booker's cool. Yeah. Uh, Willie Conley Stein, we done been Willie in seen like he sections cool. with them yeah. and, 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 <laughs> and, like, Vegas and stuff. Yeah. But because I just think, at the end of the day, I look at it like this, bro, you a person. Don't nobody want nobody around them that's like, oh, Willie. You know what I mean? So, like, especially when you're just trying to enjoy your time, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cool out. You know what I'm saying? Don't need Ralph all in your face, you know. All take, a picture, take, mm-hmm. a picture, take a picture, take a picture. The first time I seen Booker, I was in there. You feel me? I was supposed to. <laughs> I just happened to look. I said, damn, I look like Booker. And shit, Adam, they just and lose, bro. And I was just like, then we chopped it up that's behind the DJ, up, bro. bro. Welcome back to Beyond the Game on WLXU 93.9 FM. We was talking a little UK and Louisville because Sean called in with his comments about trash Louisville, but that's another Facts. story for another day. I'm glad you said that. We're moving on to the NBA playoffs where we got some series going on. We yes, got sir. two series who ended this week. The Lakers is in Cancun right now. And KD, Three. Huh? Three. Three? Who? The OKC. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Pelicans. Yeah, everybody. Mm-hmm. Your Pelicans, Lakers, and, and the Suns is all in Bull Bull right now chilling. So, anyways, <laughs> goo. Let's talk about Mr. LeBron James, Ralph's uh, favorite player, man. Yeah. So before we get to the Suns, what, what what happened with the Nuggets and Lakers series, and what's next for the Lakers? They they was way out weaponed. I mean, it's it's so many weapons mm-hmm. on Denver, man. I don't know where they was really gonna be able to focus to stop them. You, you know what I mean? It's like trying to plug mm-hmm. a hole in the dam. You plug one hole, the next <laughs> next one comes through. Like, the only what, what people you, that really what, thought what that do? Lakers had a chance was people that just live in LeBron land. You know what I mean? And Everybody I, else I ain't even there because I ain't even picked them. Like, <laughs> okay, well I'm glad you finally coming to reality. But LeBron got a whole lot of basketball. Left, man. I mean, think about it. He was 27 
point eight points a game for the season. Le- I mean, LeBron who? He still got a well. couple years. I say he probably even got three more in him. I think he got one more. I think he's one. done. That. I think he's done that. No, he's I think he can still play, but yeah. I think Does like he want to play the, the getting up for every mm-hmm. game, the treatments, you mm-hmm. know, all that type of stuff every mm-hmm. single day. And of course, mm-hmm. he'll be what 40, 41 next He'll season? be forty next year. That's that's a lot every Me single and day. The same age. To, to and then training camp, getting ready for the season, getting your body like that's that's a lot, bro. I, I just go to work and I don't even feel like doing that. And but I don't, you but know he wants saying? to play with Bronny though, right? That's true. That ain't gonna so, happen. Bro. So I say at least at least two more years. You got I give him at least two more. I say two. Yeah, at least Man, two. And you better tell LeBron he better because create Bronny LeBron on two K and play that. with him on earth. I think LeBron wants that to play, have a chance to play with his son. I think he really wants that opportunity. So But but the Lakers is not no stacked team compared to the field, man. Nope. You know what I mean? I mean, you look at all these teams I heard. Even the Suns, they were stacked and it didn't work, man. But trash. <laughs> they didn't have no. They were cash strapped. They didn't have no money to really get no real pieces. Yeah, I think they really you invest over, you all your money everybody. in three people. Yeah, so. I think they overvalued themselves in comparison to DeAndre Ayton. Hundred percent. You know, he was a big part of their run when they went to. Uh, I think he would have been better in there than Nurkic. I, I think so too. People might laugh when I say this, but it's. Injury riddle and the oldest Chris Paul is now. If they had Chris Paul, mm-hmm. they would be in, they agree. would be advancing. Because they just need a point guard. Yeah, because he yeah. can't. Bradley Beal, man. He was trying to be PG. Mm-hmm. Then Booker was trying to be PG. Yeah. They then just KD. Went in. They they had nobody to get them in the Florida offense. No. They had nobody. Okay, KD needs a shot. Okay, mm-hmm. let me get Beal an easy look. Okay, and let yep. me get Booker look real quick. They Booker's have not one of them dudes in his not. team. Booker's yeah. a scorer. Like he is. He, he's, that's the thing. He can facilitate, but that's not, not what he does best. He's a he's a buck. Like I need you to go get a buck. Who's the team captain up there? KD. Nobody. Frank Vogel. I would say KD's the team captain, bro. Well, Frank Vogel, the guy that can't keep a job. That guy. That, I, I'm yeah. just saying. The guy that always gets the blame for some reason. You, you got to say KD only because he's the most accomplished. But is he really the team captain? Yeah. I don't, I you see what I'm saying? Because it was Booker's team, so it, it is. It's it, true. I think it's Booker's team, yeah. but. I didn't. I mean, I don't know. We all on the outside looking in, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we can't really tell That's if there was true. leadership or not. But it just didn't look like there was it, any. Now, like he it. said that he wasn't comfortable in his role the whole season. Yeah, I seen that. He was a four. Yeah, he ain't a four. He's not a four. I, I don't like that when they start to move the three to the four. Yeah, 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 they mismatches on offense, but on defense, they just a lot liability. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. And they cross matched them a lot. Like you got him guarding Ant. Ant's not a four, so you guarding a two guard and you playing the yeah. four. Like. And not not only that, you guarding a two guard who's 22, 23 full of life. Yeah. KD's what 35, 36 maybe. And you can't play off of him because he can shoot. So it's like <laughs> them legs don't move like they used to on defense no more, baby. But no. what what I will kind of push back on what Goo was saying. I mean, he did say you know what I'm saying the Lakers were outmatched, but the Lakers are two shots away from yeah having two wins yeah. in this series. So. Yeah, this is the thing I didn't like about this series, bro. We played. I won't say we. We played. <laughs> <laughs> we played Denver close, except for one game. Yeah, I think it was. absolutely. And it went down to the wire every and single y'all was game. Y'all leads in, in each game. Y'all blowing now, leads. This this is where I'm a piggyback. Mm-hmm. Goo, LeBron. Yeah, you've got to close them joints out, bro. Yeah. I, I don't care how you get it done. Look, I know you it was a game, the 20-point blow. I think he missed the, the three-point at the end. Mm-hmm. I think it was a 20-point game. Bro, you you. So this is this is the reason why I goo, mm-hmm. brew, and Ralph said he's not the goat. he's not the GOAT. I it's because of it. stuff like that. Yeah. Jordan would now never. 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 I'm going to cut your mic, bro. Never. <laughs> no. Cut your mic, bro. Hey, I don't, bro. I don't, I don't you get threw it. that ball to D'Angelo so mad. <laughs> I'm checking, bro. What are you doing, bro? And you know they divert to him, though. You know what I mean? Because they look at him as the dude that would do that. Because Kobe, if Kobe was there, he's smacking somebody's this, head. This is my other thing. Okay, so going into the next season, I had a group chat with my other partners. If LeBron comes back next year, he's got to play the four. Like, mm. You can't play. Does you can't play the wing no more because you're not athletic Does as you, you used bang to be. Like that, <laughs> you want the ball. True. I mean, he's still LeBron James. You can't play PG because there are more athletic point guards oh, out yeah. there. Too so slow. you, so you can't play the. So yeah. the only place I can really put you is on the block. And if I put you on the block, you're gonna be generally seven times out of ten stronger, bigger, and more athletic than the fours that are in the NBA. So you can get away with playing the four there. I think he would, I think I think he would he do should. decent. That's what I'm he, saying. Like, he, he should want to do that. No. That's, but, that, but that was what I was saying. Do the Lakers, because a part of the Lakers' issue was 
LeBron didn't know what he wanted to do. One one game he wanted to be the point guard. The next mm-hmm. game he wanted to play on the wing. Like, what are we doing, bro? Doing? All right. You can't let D'Lo flourish if you the point guard. You know what why, I'm saying? Why do y'all got me pushing back for the Lakers today, bro? <laughs> I don't know. So my oh. only pushback, I would say, again, you want to say LeBron step up. I'm going to say AD should have been the man that stepped up. I agree. Some games he did. I agree. And what was the game y'all was up about? Was well, that game two? That was y'all game was up, two, the 20 point y'all game. Y'all was up by 20. How many, point, how many shots? I think he took three t- shots in the yeah, fourth quarter. I Come on, bro. That. Yeah. Come on, bro. Fourth quarter. Come on, bro. And, I, and I, he I, was killing that game. Mm-hmm. I was having a conversation. I was, was having cooking. a the, back and forth with, with Nick Holden on, on one of the uh, Beyond the Game posts. And I was like, he was like, man, coaching. I was like, man, for, that's when you got to say, forget coaching. Come on, bro. give me the ball. AD, get on that block. Come yeah. on. AD, yeah. let's run this pick and roll. Yeah. AD, let's run this pick and pop. Hey, AD, get in the pinch post real quick. Come like on. you, you and Le- That's and real. LeBron has to say, man, forget. And they don't even like Darvin Ham anyway. Do you think they thought they was going, or did they want to go further than this series? Oh, they definitely wanted to go no, further. 100%. They, they wanted, wanted to go LeBron further. LeBron wants to What win. was the road going but further it's gonna than this series? But it's going to take a lot. But see, that? To be, I'm going to just keep it a buck. If they got past the Nuggets, they wouldn't get past the, uh, 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 the Wolves. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I'm glad somebody said Anthony it. Edwards is over. You, you know bro. what I'm saying? Who, who you putting on him? You putting Austin Rivers on him? Hey, no, 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 no. You putting, D, you putting D-Lo on him? No. <laughs> That's no. what I'm saying. So, who, who, you, you, for dang sure ain't putting Brian on him. Nah. And KD can't do nothing with him. Brian for sure can't do nothing with him. Brian don't even want to play defense. That's what I'm exactly. saying. Like, nah. So, Ant's about to average forty five and eight in that series. I swear. That's the thing that that's the thing, and I'm not even a LeBron fan, y'all know that. That's the thing that's discouraging for me and what makes me say you gotta hang it up. I watched uh and by the way, Jamal Murray was hobble. And y'all know I ain't the biggest Jamal Murray fan, but I will say, and I've said it for probably two years, he bought out. He's one of the most difficult shot makers Absolutely. in the league. Oh, yeah. Whether or not he's not a superstar, he's not I mean, I guess I think he, he's right on the cusp. I think he is too. I don't think he's close to a superstar. Oh, superstar? You superstar. Oh, star? I, give him, I give him a star. I, 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 yeah, I, I, like all star, whatever. I, I, I them two game winners, you wouldn't say superstar? But superstar is like you LeBron, the team. KD. Like, like Joker. But he's stacked. Joker. He's on a stacked squad, bro. If he was on another team, I'll give, give you that. I'll give you that. If he's on the Pelicans, if he's on the Pelicans right now, what do you think Jamal Murray would be? A super CJ McCullough? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, come no. on. No. But CJ McCullough's a dog. But he wouldn't be <laughs> CJ. CJ ain't no. I'm, I'm trying to if if you put if you put uh uh Jamal Murray on Portland, does he make the all-star team? You you put him with DeAndre Ayton, so he has another big, does he make the all-star team? So Do they have an all-star this year? I don't think. Nah, I don't no, think they have. No, so, bro. Okay. Because I think Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray is gonna give you. This is that's why I can't do it. I, that's why I have never done it, and I don't, I don't have nothing against him. He's eighteen maximum twenty-two points. Now you could though, you could make the all-star game like that. There's been worse. Andre Iguodala made it with like sixteen points mm-hmm. a game. Duh. It's just you're not gonna do it today. I mean, I mean, you know he mean? said you're not gonna do I it mean, today. <laughs> teams do matter, bro. We looking at Kyrie. Looking, 100%. I mean, I mean, look at Kyrie. You thought he was done when he left uh, Boston, but now he looking like. You kind of look like Kyrie. Kyrie's here, bro. it, bro. He's just a I, guy. He's added a lot to that I'm, team. I'm not, I'm not a Jamal Murray fan either, but I feel like he defers to Joker as you should. Huh? But if you put him, put him on Orlando Magic. Mm-hmm. He's putting up 27. Oh, uh, I think so. I, th- I think he's putting up 27. I easy. Think so. Yeah. I, I, I want to know y'all opinion on. I'm, I'm sure the LeBron fan club is not going to have anything to say to this. But what all the whining and complaining that LeBron James <laughs> does, man, that's what turns me off of LeBron I'm trying James to get a sometimes, foul call. man. I'm trying to get a foul. No, I mean, trying to get a challenge. Like, all, <laughs> that's all he does is complain and whine. The refs this. It's somebody else's fault. Ralph, it's this person's Ralph, fault. he's a grumpy old man, bro. Goodness gracious. He's a he grumpy old like man, him, bro. bro. Like, like, let him let him be like, old and grumpy, crying, man. Stop crying, LeBron. That's all I'm going to say. Stop crying, bro. I'll tell you what, though. How you like, going to take up for him and then throw him under the bus, Ralph? What, what is that I, you know, I, you That know. challenge, though, I mean, it was up 15. It was unnecessary. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 But... When you get rewarded for yo, you're gonna make all the headlines, you're gonna be every mm-hmm. meme. Why not? Mm-hmm. I mean, he flinched. I, I'll give him credit. He flinched at that woman on the line, called him a crybaby. That was funny. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. I like that's the LeBron I like, bro. I won't see that LeBron. Hey, that's what me? I posted it on my story. Go ahead back to your Miami days when you were the villain, bro. Yeah, black mask and all that. Man, it's, it's too late now. But yeah. back to my point with Jamal Murray, not the our superstar take. Um, 
it was times, okay, he was hobbled, so he wasn't even 100% out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It was a time he did one of the weakest moves and got in the lane, and LeBron, old LeBron would have been like, why would he even, like, if that was Steph Curry. Oh, you he, talking about when he banged him? No, no, okay. not that. No, he, that was nice. There was nothing he could do about that. Oh, okay. That was but, nice. Uh, he came through the lane. He did one of them lazy layups, and Lebron I, I sat like, there. I, I was watching. I'm like, LeBron's about to kill this. Nope, and, and LeBron just, just did like, yeah, I said. Hang it up, LeBron. Bro, his knees don't work like they used yeah, to, baby. You can't call him on command. Bro, he's still 6'9", bro. <laughs> yeah. On command. He's 40 years old, my brother. He, he, tried that, he tried that on AD. AD barely even did anything, and it went in the stand. <laughs> <laughs> AD, turned, AD did like this. And that's why I say, man, LeBron passed this torch. He, or he's been trying to pass this torch to AD for years. Mm -hmm. AD is not. AD's taking it I'm next good, year. I'm good, bro. AD's taking I'm it next year. I'm good on that. He can't. His he's, body can't handle it, bro. He can't, bro. But, this, but to, to his credit, though, this was the first year where he stayed Relatively he healthy. healthy. I give credit here. And, and we still only got a seven seed. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and the last thing about it. Bro, if 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 they're contemplating getting rid of Vogel already, Darvin Ham's got to be gone. Uh -huh. oh. Spencer Dinwiddie. When LeBron Torian starts giving Prince, you them looks, it's oh, a yeah. Gabe Vincent, Reeves, Rui Hachimura. Come on, bro. I'm forgetting somebody. D Lo. Come on, bro. A D. Uh, you can't, Jared Vanderbilt. You're, you're struggling <laughs> we, to we win have pieces. a playoff game. One, but what yeah. about the idea? I know these are the biggest contracts in the league. KD, uh, Steph, and uh, LeBron doing the last hoorah. At this point, they got to do it. <laughs> the, the only the only way I would see that happening is well, first of all the con the contracts. I would say they, you know what I'm saying, make sure everybody's out of their contract. And the reason why I say that is because they're going to need pieces uh, around mm, them. 100%. And so in order for that to happen, all three got to take pay, major mm -hmm. pay cuts. Oh, yeah. The, the cap LeBron's is what? Like 51. Huh? The cap is what? Two, 200 and two. something. So if the cap is 200. so they the, can all three still make 40 and still get it to a roster. Yeah. But, oh, no, but again, no. you don't want the roster like you just named off, or we can go I'll to fight. I, bro. Or we can go to Phoenix's roster. So this is the thing. I don't see a problem with the Lakers roster. I see a problem with how they use the players. Yeah. D'Lo is a combo guard. He is not J.J. Reddick. Well, that's Th and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, go Dan Whitty is a combo guard. He's not J.J. Reddick. So you can't get mad at your help when you're saying, nah, bro, you can't dribble. You got to just stand over there. But that's what happens when you give a coach a job. But see, that deserve. goes back to what I said five minutes ago. LeBron has to figure because combo guards, need the, they need shots. Right. Mm -hmm. D'Lo, he's a point guard, so if he's facilitating, he ain't got no rhythm, and then you expect him to get a rhythm during the game. It's like, bro, that's not going to happen. You need to get him going first that's and get him Brian shots going. Needs to play he's the been floor. the ugly stepchild of that whole team. Like if, if The person they blame for everything. everything Anytime bro. something go wrong, D'Lo's fault. But when he hits seven threes, they don't say nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. That's because it's rare when it happens. So we can't, we just got to sit back and watch, bro. He's he over he's three a, hooper, a game. Man. He D -Lo's averaged over hooper, three threes bro. a game. D'Lo is a hooper. I just think he gets frustrated with the nonsense of the Lakers sometimes, bro. But you look at all the people that they did get rid of. Us. Brandon Ingram, Julius Randle, you know, they got rid of D-Lo, brought him back. They really succeeded. Passed up on Taylor. Yep. Passed up on Jay LeBron. Don't do that. I'm just the Lakers had a squad. I was a little bit that. mad. I ain't gonna lie when they got rid of all them people. Only Bro, one that they really this. caught we right was Kuzma. We getting along. We having a good conversation today, <laughs> hey, You had no, 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 don't do it. He's nope. a, see, he's a Kobe fan. He's you, not a LeBron fan. But you, I'm a Lakers fan, so it don't matter to me. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you had to let them young players grow together. Facts. That was young. You know Facts. what I mean? They needed Facts. three years. They, they did. He they, did the same thing to Andrew Wiggins, and he got a championship. They got three years then in the Pelicans. But anyways, we great. Take a quick commercial break here on Beyond the Game with WLXU 93.9 FM. We come back, we'll talk about Ralph's favorite player, KD. Ah. There's already rumors about him maybe potentially going to Miami already. He just mm. lost two days ago. Uh, but anyways, we'll, we'll talk about that when we come back on Beyond the Game on WLXU 93.9. You can't be a superstar and just hop teams like that, bro. That's, no. not, that's not it, bro. That's not it. That ain't it. That's not it. That ain't it. They better keep Bam. Bam ain't it. Brian was like, damn, I know I did it, bro, but you taking it to an extreme, bro. <laughs> like, damn. That would be interesting. What y'all think about that Kendrick Lamar response? I was going to say something about it on here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good shit. Good shit. That's one of the major reasons why I pulled up. I said, man, I got, I got time. You listen to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Honestly. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. I know. I seen you say something about it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but I see. I can't. I'm so tuned in with Ralph that I couldn't even not laugh when I read <laughs> Ralph. He said, "Are you 
could just see your house. Like, that wasn't it, bro. I was so disappointed, bro. I'm sorry, bro, but I just can't. Bro, I was so disappointed, bro. Like, we waited for this, Kendrick? This is what I got, I will say. That for one, both of them niggas have to stop bleaking the unmastered version. <laughs> exactly. Now exactly. you just put out a terrible product. But yep. once it's mastered, if you have premium speakers, I don't know. I, it depends on your car. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick shit sounds good in the car. It do sound. Mm-hmm. And that's why, that's why I tell somebody, I'm like, the song is good. But when we're talking about battle rapping, like, come on, Kendrick, bro. <laughs> like, I don't think he wanted to go first. All right, what is this? Not too good. Welcome back to Beyond the Game on WLXU 93.9 FM. We talking NBA playoffs. We yes, just sir. got done talking about Goose, Lakers, and LeBron James. Now we're going to talk about Ralph Suns and my, KD. I'm a Kings fan. We didn't even make the playoffs. Y'all did? That <laughs> <laughs> oh, was looking good, though, man, for we, a while. We tried. <laughs> you say y'all tried it? Yeah, we tried. So what's, what's coach? Uh, Mike Brown. There you go. Yeah, oh, I know. There you go. <laughs> I know. Uh-huh. He wouldn't so, be anything what, without LeBron James. What's your son's going to do with KD next year, man? Mm. Is it time to get rid of him? Because there's already rumors about him potentially maybe wanting to go to Miami. I'm not a fan of the hopping teams just because you didn't get your way or things didn't work out the way that you thought they were going to work out. KD, you went from the Golden State to Brooklyn, to now Phoenix. to Phoenix. And now you're ready to go again. I don't know if he's ready to go again, but just to answer That's your just question, rumors, yeah. I just think that the main thing with the Suns, if you want to keep the pieces – um, that's a lot of money that you're going to be paying out next year. What they say, 150 million just for three people. Y'all got to get a point guard, bro. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to get a floor general. It starts there. It's not Frank Vogel's fault. He wasn't the issue this year. Y'all superstar players. Um, I would think that y'all would find a way to figure it out, but it's more to it when it comes to basketball. What it's happened, a team though? sport. What happened? For me, like for me, if we want to talk about KD, KD just didn't seem like he wanted it, bro. What happened? I don't. What, feel, what's, I, that, what's that movie where he's like, "Did you even pinch the?" <laughs> like, <laughs> for real though. Like, KD can go out there and score like, 20, 25, just because he's naturally gifted to shoot the ball. But I don't feel like KD wants it, bro. Bro, game two, I think he had nineteen or twenty. I think I just, Booker had twenty. He had less than twenty. I know. Yeah, for I sure, think it was nine. It might have been nineteen. Then nah, I was he, like, bro, what do you, what do you? What are you I, doing? I truly feel like I don't want to bring up old stuff. I want to bring up AD, but I just feel like out of AD, KD. They both have a ring, and they are good with that. Yeah. You, you think they both just chilling? They, they, they are good. good with that. They are not ring chasing like LeBron James. <laughs> they are good. If they I end their career with Brooklyn, the ring. Though. He was he was he was going I, I think he Brooklyn. was in Brooklyn when Harden got there, but yeah. then after Harden got traded. He was like. But I brought yeah, up the Brooklyn like, just good, the yeah. hopping. Because for me, KD should have never left the Warriors. It was the perfect scenario there with KD. They could have easily won five. Maybe fans may not have liked the, the power – that they had over in, with Go State as far as being the dominant team, but, but they could have easily won five rings. But bro. now we would have even out. Before the fall, you know. Now if they'd had that roster, it would have evened out in a lot of ways. Absolutely, hundred percent, hundred percent. You look at uh, uh, Boston. You yeah. know what I mean? Boston's got a caliber team they like do. that was, and they've been I mean? together. Tatum and Brown have been together. They know how to play yeah. together. They and get Porzingis it. has been really Absolutely. good for them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got Denver. <laughs> you know, Denver's been really. They drafted that team. Yeah. You know they what did. I'm saying? Yeah. So they they drafted Porter. Uh, Joker, Murray, then traded yeah, for Aaron, Aaron Gordon. Gordon yeah. I, feel, so, I feel we ain't really talked about it. We may be missing subjects, but I feel bad for Porter, bro. Wow. How does, the two brothers and what yeah. they got going on? Oh, the the one, one got, got banned, suspended yeah, yeah, and then yeah. one yeah. murdered somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know about the murder joint. Uh-huh. Yeah, the younger brother. Nah, he murdered somebody. He's going to prison. Mm-hmm. Now I knew about the brother in Toronto, <laughs> yeah, right? bro. Both brothers. That poor household. Wow. Yeah, yeah, bro. Bro. I, I, I Ike said he should, uh, Katie should go back to OKC. Ain't nothing down there for him. Hey, Ike, I'm looking hey Ike, we gonna get you because I want to know what. How did your Pacers lose without Giannis and Dame playing? Hell, so Daniel, you bro. know how it goes. When you see some, oh, man, this is an easy yeah, win tonight. That's real. You know bro. what I'm saying? Then they don't even get up for the game. And then okay. before you know it, it's, oh, come on, bro, we got to win this. If the Pacers are bipolar, though. They got I, some hoopers up there, bro. I'm saying, if they lose this series, come who, on, who? bro. The Pacers. The Pacers. Oh, okay. But you no got to understand, though, that, that experience, though, championship experience, it does helps. carry on, it helps. though. You it know helps. what I mean? And your boy, uh, uh Porter. But you letting Pat Bev. You should not be losing to Pat Bev and Chris Middleton. Pat Bev hoop too. 
here, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Like, that man bro. should not be doing that, bro. Like, no. We, like, we should not be doing that. Bobby Portis is a dog. Brooke Lopez. Yeah, I, like, bro, I like Bobby I Portis. Yeah, I like Bobby uh, Portis. I'm telling you, dog. Middleton. Yeah, they got um, Middleton. I, 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 I like Bobby Portis, but you losing the pet, man, and Chris Middleton? I don't like Chris Middleton, but he is an 18-point per game school. I don't like his game. They just ain't the they just think the the, the they caliber, still young. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Middleton is a '90s player. Yeah. He, he is. Oh, y'all right over? Okay. Oh. Yeah, Chris Middleton is a '90s player, bro. Seat, bro. Oh, okay. What, what we got over here? What we got over here? Breaking news. What we got? Oh, uh, is it true? You have said down. Kenny Anderson. Oh, Kenny Anderson. Yes, yeah, step down as as head coach of Fisk University. Ah oh, man. Really? Yeah. Mm. Does he have another opportunity somewhere? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, Kenny Anderson is no uh, longer the, the head coach at Fisk University. Hey, tell him he can call back. He can call back in and, and say his piece. Yeah. <laughs> tell, 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 call tell, in. Tell him next week. You know. Call call, in. Say his matter piece. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll see if they got some spots open tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. See, he call, he call <laughs> in tomorrow, <laughs> man. Sure. But uh, Brew, what happened with KD during the playoffs? And what happened to the Suns period? Because this was supposed to be the big three. They are supposed to, you know, run shop on the lead. You had Bill. You had uh, 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 KD and, and, and Booker averaging twenty seven during the season. They were supposed to be at least in the Western Conference Finals. This team here, confused. He said confused. It was a it was a weird group to put together mm-hmm. because I know just if you go back to the bubble, you have Booker fans. I'm a Bill guy as far as I like to see an underdog, you know, yeah. take his his swing at the top. Right. But, uh, pause. Yeah, I think I need to <laughs> no say Diddy. That. No Diddy. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, you put all of them on a team together, and you, I mean, they were cash strapped. Cause they still had to pay Chris Paul what right. they owed him, but uh, I was on. I was like, this team's gonna be all right. And, that's and what, that's every, every time that's what everybody they thought. got on the court together, somebody got hurt. That's yep. what it looked like. And then once February rolled around, I said, man, they're not gonna get it together, and they just didn't. Uh, I mean, Booker averaged twenty seven. Ironically, they averaged the same. Yeah, him yep. and KD twenty seven point nine. I think Bill was eighteen, mm-hmm. and then Bill was eighteen. So I was like. Whatever they did to get those numbers, if they can do that in the playoffs, that's what I'm saying. All right, but I don't. I just don't know what happened. Plus, Minnesota plays D. Phoenix does not. They're one of the better defensive teams in the league. Minnesota. Nurkic is not a rim protector, so it's like. Uh, uh, Ant is looking at that like, what is this? Like, <laughs> barbecue chicken. I'm going to the rim every time. Barbecue I want to. chicken. You, you see what he did? <laughs> yeah. You, you, so, you seen know. the series? They was talking to him the entire time. Oh, I loved every minute of it, bro. Yeah, yeah. like I would. Every I would look if if I was an elite athlete as myself right now, I would look at Nurkic like. This is not intimidating. Not you know all. what I mean? Like, <laughs> so they got to get a better big man. Facts. Even though I don't think I'm not a big Aiton guy, but he's way better than Nurkic. Facts. Offensively, he's he's a big body. No, did he? That you can just have down yeah, there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just to Facts. be in the way. Yep. Yeah. Nurkic was in the way, but he was in his own team's he can't way. Jump. <laughs> he can't he get was in his own team's way, bro. Yeah. yeah. And a- Andrew Morrell, he said, uh, "Hold on." Andrew. <laughs> he said Bill was in a straight jacket all series. He said Bill ain't show up one time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My God. Minnesota, here he go. <laughs> and he just commented. He said, "He said game one, game one was lit." He said, "Them Minnesota Minnesotians know how to get down." So yeah. he, he was at the game. Mm-hmm. On, uh, yeah, on, I remember that. I seen that picture. I'll be down there. I'll be down there and check y'all out, man. No, but the Suns really didn't really give the due diligence to Did they even give the others a and value. You know what I mean? They came in the series. Uh, well, they came in a year thinking that they found an answer. That's you know what, what they mean? thought. And honestly, I think they created a problem. Yeah, I because think so too. Because he really did come through for them a lot Who? when they had that run. Aiden. Oh, yeah, yeah. When they had that when run. When they went to the finals. Yeah. He was a problem for a lot of people. They didn't have that, that same dynamic this year. They were just <laughs> really running around the yep. whole perimeter. Yep. You know Shoot. what I'm saying? And me personally, I know big bodies do make a difference. You know what for I'm sure. saying? Mm-hmm. Especially when you need that, that rebound when you miss a shot. You know what I'm saying? They was really out rebounding a lot. Drew okay. said, "Drew said, come on. He's trying to get uh, tickets for Game Three and Four. He said, come on through for the uh, Blake, not Blake. for the this series. Yeah, the, the, the Wolves and the Nuggets. Nuggets right, bro. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the best series of the playoffs. Oh, the tickets probably gonna. Probably, be. They play the Nuggets, right? Yep. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the best. So series. for the, the Suns, died, if they gonna run with this game plan, they just need to know that they gotta outscore everybody. That's, no, gonna be, that's gonna be tough in the playoffs. They really to do, planning though, on man. stopping bro, nobody. KD is only getting older. Bradley Bill is only getting older. He, man. And he's more injury <laughs> prone. Yeah, At the worst, though, KD's twenty four a game. Easy. He's just he's does, just got that game. Does he need to take a step back? Though? Yes. I mean, he's not no. the he's not the no. num- the number one guy on his team is Booker. So I mean, it's not like he's the first but, but option. Does, but does Booker know that? 
Yeah. Obviously, because when Booker wants to go, you see what he did the last game? Yeah. yeah when no. Booker's like, all right, this is my team, I'm going to go score 40, he does it. He does but that's, it. And that's what I'm saying, but like, why doesn't he have that mentality? Because he's he's one of my Mamba's disciples, mm-hmm. so he has the Mamba. Why doesn't he like stop, adopt stop. it? Hey. Yeah. What? He is don't. a he is a disciple. Hey. He is. He did don't. take over a couple series though. He is no, a Mamba he did, disciple. But don't piss me off. <laughs> Mamba told you know autographed his his jersey as the shoes said go be legendary or whatever. Yeah. He got the Mamba mentality. So I'm just saying. I'm, I, him, Tatum, all them. Did y'all let, see? Let that go, bro. They, they the Mamba disciples, man. Nah, bro. Did y'all see who was that guard that they had? used to come off the bench last year. Who, uh, uh, the Suns? Yeah. Was it Cam Payne? Yeah. Cameron Payne? He was an energy. Yeah, yeah he, he could score. Good, like, he yeah. was a real good dude. He was like a Lance Stevenson I think, spark. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's old news, but I think when they let go of Miles Bridges, I think that was, that was big, big for too. them, bro. I think yeah, there a lot of things yeah, that bro. didn't really pan out this year. Did y'all see the reports? I don't know how true it was where uh, Stephen A. was bringing up the fact that Booker wanted to be traded to New, New York. York. I seen that, too. Mm. Yeah, I see. He I see that to too. Nick, I can bro. see him going to a quote unquote bigger city, even though Phoenix is a big city itself. Mm-hmm. But I can see him going to a quote unquote larger market mm-hmm. to you know for that. But, but I, <laughs> yeah. he don't seem like a New York guy. I was gonna say I don't see. I can see him in Miami, but I don't see him in New York. But New York is so terrible that they'll take. He, they'll make him whatever they want him to be. You know what I mean? The, the, the New York Giants stink. The Knicks, they they need strong. something to hold yeah, on to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so Drew says Sun's gonna have to get a new coach, get a point guard, and a four. I KD and what Frank Vogel did I though. Don't know. I don't get it. Bro. And like you just said, he said KD can't play the four anymore. They put need to put him at the three. And Andrew said Booker played like he wanted to be somewhere else too because he did. Mm-hmm. Booker was playing. He wants to be in New York. And I don't think KD liked that game plan. I don't just think like so. He Kevin, said it. Yeah, just like Kevin did. Love didn't like that game mm-hmm. plan in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just don't think you can't get anything if your team, even if you can't play defense individually, you got to have a team defensive concept. Facts. Everybody Facts. in the league can get by one on one deep, but you right. got to have a team defensive concept, Facts. and they just don't have one. No, they nope. don't. That's why I said their whole game plan is just ask score everybody. They, they defensive game plan was get the ball out the nets and let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically what it was. Yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah. we say that takes effort. It takes effort, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't feel like they was putting forth that effort, man. You know who they should have put in? It. Yeah, I think I I, mm, I, I did one would, game. Mm, I'm saying throughout the whole series, like I think it would have given them not just a burst of energy, but he probably would have been that defensive star. Would he have bothered Ant Man? I don't know, yeah. but he would have probably been, brought enough the energy. IQ, the IQ, I think it might. He could have pressed mattered. them, like made them work just That's to get what I'm up saying. the court. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. after that, it's over. Yeah. It's just <laughs> once, once he gets past yeah. half court, yeah, it's, yeah. it's barbecue yeah. chicken yeah. at that point in time. But but like y'all said, I just don't think Frank Vogel used his whole whole bench as he should have. So I was the only one that didn't really. Buy into them being a, 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 a conference finals contender or anything like that. I was trying to be optimistic, Everybody, bro. Uh, but they did, though. I just didn't know they were going to draw Minnesota first. So if they didn't get Minnesota, mm-hmm. you think they're going to the second round? They couldn't mm-hmm. be the OK. I, I think they could have be the OKC. I so about so, OKC, so let, let's play. Let's play that. A, I was going to say. Let's say they get the AC. They get OKC. Suns beating OKC. The best case scenario would have been them playing the Lakers. Yeah. Yeah, but that wasn't yeah. very happy because both of them was trash. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so that wasn't very happy. And then after I that, I would have picked the Lakers in that series. And then after that, the best case scenario would have been them playing New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah, because the Mavericks would have gave them business too. Mavericks. What about that? It would have been. Gonna guard they would have at least won. Nobody. They would have at least won. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing, though. No, Devin can't. It, you you see when they you see last game, they ran a pick to get. It's when you know you bad on D. They ran a pick and they put this James Harden. We gonna let you ice on Luca all day, all yep. day. And what do you have? Thirty <laughs> two. <laughs> All day. So, do you think the Suns could have got bad, uh, past the Mavericks? No, but I think they would have at least won two games. I just think Kyrie is better in the playoffs. Yeah. I don't care if you got Book. I don't care if you got Bill. I'm taking Kyrie as all my day. second option. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what about, what about you, Goo? Suns beat the Mavericks if they match up. Mm-mm. OKC. No. No. Because they definitely gonna guard shy. They definitely not beating the Nuggets. They not beating the Clippers. No, not uh, the Clippers either. Who had who has you? They had no bench too. The what about you, did. Ralph? Same thing, Mavericks. I s- Mavericks. No, the only team I thought maybe would be OKC. Okay. That's why I felt like they would have really? a chance again. Why? Because they're, they're smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I was gonna say okay, see tough though. I ain't trying to take no shots. Okay, see tough, man. They they young, they, they athletic. Just, they just score so much, so they it's just do, like bro. if you can't play D and they score that much, I just can't see you beating hey, them man. in a seven games. Shea Gildress Alexander. Who's man. that? 
Gosh, man, how his game has <laughs> where it was when he first was at UK. I liked him in UK and though. I did too, but it took time for him to develop he into that. Yeah, right yeah. yeah. His rookie year was good to me. Yeah, he but, really averaged like but, fourteen. Yeah, he was decent. I'm just at saying the, the progression of, of saying, Shaq. Though. He's gotten better and did he, better did, each what, year. Did Cal win a chip with him? No, Come on, man, chill, bro. Oh, okay. chill. I'm, I'm, I'm more impressed next, with next that. Next up, we are not. Come on, man. I ain't know. I ain't know. Do I'm, I'm more impressed with that uh, two man. Uh, uh, Giddy? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Uh, 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 Dork? No. Uh, That's the two man. His name was Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams. He's like the four. Well, no, nah, the other with the braids, right? The dark the skin with the braids. Yeah, That's he's the four, bro. Yeah, I know, because Dork plays three. He's the second option, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's tough now. He's tough. Yeah, he's tough now. Okay, yeah, so that yeah. game he was a high scorer in the other game. The game yeah. before this one wasn't he up. He, yeah, he went. I think when they first got him, he was only like six, seven points a game. Now you he's, said he's a four. Now he's yeah, like, so I, said, uh, oh, I thought. thought he was a three. Okay, mm. but he's uh, he's a small four. But uh, he is. Drew but said, he to a game, Drew said the Suns could have beat OKC. See. See, me I and Drew don't, don't agree a lot but of times. Said, but, but he said Bill would have got cooked, cooked uh, by Shy, though. Like <laughs> so, so here's my question, because it seems like y'all really Western concerned. Y'all just feel like the Eastern Conference is a foregone conclusion? The Boston's coming out? I do. I think Cleveland can I think Cleveland can give them a run for their money. I, I, if they I, match up, I, I think Cleveland say, can I, give I them a run I can see Cleveland getting to the Eastern Conference Finals, but I, I nah, bro. It's a cake. Yeah, well, I think well. I think Boston got this. I had to think because I'm like, That's Phil, what I, I'm Philly's to think. not healthy. Yeah, Philly, no. Miami's not healthy. Milwaukee's not healthy. I just think even healthy. if New York if New York advances, New York, they, just, don't they don't have enough, man. You don't think New York can give them? Man, I think New York man. can give them problems, but I don't think New York. Okay, put, I'll put it to you Brunson like this. Brunson got an average 40? No, I'll put it like this. New York will do to uh, uh, Boston what the Lakers did to the Nuggets, which is they'll make it competitive. Yeah. But the last two to three minutes, Boston will do what yeah, they got to do to put them away. Cleveland's the best matchup. Absolutely. 100%. But the problem is Cleveland don't play like they do in Cleveland when they go somewhere yeah. else. Yep. Mm. So it'll probably be like six games. If, if Cleveland could get something out of Evan Mobley, he hooped last night, by the way. Now, I'm talking about consistently. If they can, if they can get something out of him he's consistently, just more of defi- like him, he's defense. Jared Allen's defense. Well, Jared Allen, I ain't worried about him because I know he's just a defensive you player. But Evan Mobley, he has offensive game. But I just feel, I feel like if somehow they, he could showcase they that combining more. Combining them though, like I've been, you know, I gamble. So uh, <laughs> Jared Allen Charles is like 12 points a game, and right. then Mobley's like 14. So you, he's never going to give you 20 because yeah. you got Allen getting 12. Right. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I feel like Mobley needs more shots, though, man. Yeah. I, I feel know. like Garland needs to score more because when Garland, when uh, my man from Louisville don't play Mitchell, yeah. Garland will go get 26. Mm-hmm. But then when Mitchell comes back, yeah. Garland's yeah. cool yeah. with 10. Because yeah. he, he, he knows the Mitchell's going to cook. He's back. So, yeah. I, don't know I, I think Garland's out when there. When New York anyway. got rid of that R.J. Brickett, boy, they started doing things. Oh, yeah. When, when, they, when, they got, <laughs> when they got rid of him, uh, they brought in O.G. and Anobi. Their defense Brickett. stepped up, but I just don't think – they lost a lot of offense getting rid of them to get OG on the note because he's only like 10 a game for them. Man. <coughs> New York, y'all better not blow this series, man. Y'all had that game last night. Mm-hmm. Y'all better not blow this series, man. Yeah, it's they New- can't lose the Philly with uh, MB. No. This 50 it's New, it's New <laughs> no, York. Bro. Whatever you think they won't do, that's Wrong. what they going to do. But anyways, we had some stuff going on this past week. We had more Team Dark Skin versus Team Light Skin as Drake dropped his diss track, Euphoria, this week. What, no, no, it? Kendrick. Kendrick, my bad. Kendrick yeah, dropped it today. I'm Team Light Skin, bro. I can't <laughs> All help you. Was it Today or yesterday did he drop it? Yesterday. 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 Mm-hmm. So, beyond the game, you know, we talk about more than just sports on this joint. Yes, sir. Goo, what you think about that diss track yesterday? I think K-Dot really is going, like, gut punching. He ain't slapping him around. He's just gut punching. He ain't you know what I'm around. saying? <laughs> I mean, you know, when it comes to, when it comes to hip-hop, you know, people like that, they like to get into the beat. You know what I'm saying? And they get into their bag of, you know, wordplay and things like that. And I think Kendra's really showing his – his lyrical gymnastics. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When it comes to Drake, though, like, Drake does what he's known to do. So that gives him the responses that he's looking for. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because the, all the things he does with the hot the hot songs, you know what I'm saying, the hooks, or just a little catchy. Uh, he's trendy. Uh, yeah. uh, Metro shut up and make some drums. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that, bro. You know, those things I like. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I really like the sport. You know what I'm saying? I think Kendrick's really coming out of his bag. I know Drake going to go to his Ghost Riders and team up. <laughs> his Ghost Riders. And uh, so right. come out they, do right right hey, they do a good job. They do. They do yeah. a great job, bro. So I think everybody's really showing their weapons. You know Maybe what I'm saying? Maybe you should let Chris and Brown write his raps. It's Team Dark Skin, though. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick, he's bodying this boy. 
We, we was up, though. We was up for a minute. We had Chris Brown on, yeah. on, on Quavo's head. Chris Brown went straight at Quavo's head. And then, head. you know, we had Drake until Kendrick, you know, responded to that. So we was up for a minute. Brew, what's your thoughts, man? This is, this is the problem. Uh, Quavo is not – he's, he's – uh, the one-dimensional Drake. 100%. He only has the melodies and 100%. the hooks. But for what he is, he put a good response back. But okay. Chris Brown, he was just so disrespectful and direct. Takeoff was it, the best was, rapper out of that group. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Easy. And, uh, like, if it was Chris Brown and Offset, then it would have been a good little match. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Even, yeah. So, I mean, Chris Brown won that one. Uh, as far as this Drake one. I'm in the middle. I, like I tell people, I said it since it first came. I'm the black ref. I can't remember his name right now. This uh, in the ring, and he's refing, but he's making faces when both people make contact. <laughs> yeah, I know you're talking about. I'm here. I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, I just, I can never go for a guy that just automatically is crowned every time they have an opponent. Yeah. That's why I can't just all, lean all the way left on Drake, even though I like Drake's songs, not all of them, yeah. because I feel like over the last five years or so, Drake's got real H&M, real bubblegum. I can put out anything. I can put the latest lingo mm-hmm. in there, and they're going to eat it up because mm-hmm. fem- females don't care anyway yeah, as long are, as they bro. can shake it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what shows you he's a pop star, not he's a rapper. He's a pop star, right. So when you're talking about a rap beef, you have to rap for me. So I, that trendy, and I like, I like push-ups. I know a lot of people don't like rap verses where you have to decipher what they're saying, but for me, that is what I like. Yeah, so, that's lyrics. I forgot so, my, my digs for good. <laughs> yeah, so, so I like push-ups, like I said. And, and the thing is, people are complaining about Kendrick taking 17 days to drop, but it took Drake 22 days to respond. And he made a song half as long as Drake. Yeah. So it's like, you can't knock Kendrick for that. And I think a lot of it is, well, people complaining, we don't even know everything that Kendrick's saying. A lot of y'all that thought y'all knew what Drake was saying didn't y'all know what don't. y'all was saying. Because exactly. I was in the comments and y'all didn't it's know. It's going over your head. Yeah, so so I don't know. I, I kind of just tune out the people that are vanilla and listen to people that really know. Like, I saw some, a post today by... Um, Nemo, of course, you right. know, that's Jack's manager and writes some stuff for him. And then uh, underneath, first comment was uh, Tusi and the baby's uh, PR lady. Um, so they were, they were both saying Drake got body. I saw some people like, man, he literally put him on a speed bag. You know what I mean? And this was yeah, light for Kendrick because he could have got personal. He chose not to go too personal. Yeah, like, even though he came in his wife. And it is to me, seems to show a lot of long people. until it does go personal. It will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know this dude. Because that's battle rap. He's from L.A. Inglewood, right? <coughs> yeah. I thought he was from Compton. Compton. He, he, Com- Com- oh, he's Com- Compton. Yeah. He's Compton. Compton. Okay. So we know he's battle tested. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we know he's battle tested. But to me, it just shows a lot of people's uh, true infatuation with hip hop and just rap music. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because the hip hop heads really, really go for you, they respect what Drake's doing, but they'll really gravitate towards Kendrick. But the rap people, they really like push off Kendrick's attempt and they, they worship Drake. You know what I'm right. saying? So I think we're going to have a real live line down the middle about how people feel about it. This is right. equal, so, you know, this is this what we needed. <laughs> My opinion was I'm not saying Drake won, but I, listen, Kendrick, you made a great song. You made a great song. I feel, I'm like, not I feel going, a butt I, coming I, in there somewhere. I'm not saying the song's no not great. It's a, He has lyrics in there. He has some shots in there. Mm-hmm. I get it. But but as far as a battle, <laughs> as far as a battle rap song, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it, but you know that's just my opinion. I'm not here to. You, you no, I'm not here to the, debate. The, it's just my opinion, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. But what you, you like? Once you come through that right. door, you hear the you know debate, Ralph. But you got to understand, Kendrick has a formula that he, he uses it, that not a lot of rappers yeah. do. And I feel you like for I mean? me, I feel like Kendrick went in the studio, put his feet up. Here, man. What, what what would you have liked Kendrick to do on this? Like, what would what would you what you want? I don't know, man. So come back, come at it like uh, Chris Brown with it. Uh, <laughs> Quavo, uh, okay. bro. Okay, that was this is the thing. That was a more shock factor because I, a lot of people don't remember Chris, Chris Brown. Brown can rap. Chris Brown did like a year and a half of features of rap. <laughs> yeah, bro. But so that's a shock factor because he hasn't rapped in like eight yeah. years. I mean, I but started. my thing for Kendrick is he's so. T- like that little little you don't even know what it's saying because he put it in reverse yeah it was Richard Pryor yeah. from the Wiz mm-hmm. yeah so he did that and then he when went into the curtains back in, yeah and then like, he did yeah. the Teddy Pendergrass in yeah, the background that, while he like I said it was a great song that's what I'm saying and, and as far he, as battle rapping I don't, I don't know. so I don't I don't like the beginning part for battle rap but 
once he switched the beat, yeah, that was part of my favorite part. And then he so. switched to the second beat. <laughs> yeah, that's battle rap. That's and he got into his cadences. Yeah. yeah, and he started talking like he was French German from Canada. So you you wanted to see him attack Drake the person versus Drake the rapper. Yeah, we all know Drake is an entertainer. Like, mm, that's a fact. I, I, you know what I'm saying? We all know Drake had a BBL, bro. Like, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> a lot of people did years, not know. Bro. A lot of people didn't know that. I didn't know that, bro. Yeah. Rick Ross has been saying it for weeks before Kendrick even came yeah. out and said anything, And you know what's even bro? crazy is everybody kind of uh, 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 gives the credit to the battle rapping between everybody with the Drake and things, but I think it started with Nicki Minaj and uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. Oh, okay. mm, you know what? You Big might foot. be right. I think you that's what you kinda, might be right. I think that's yeah. what kind of started it. I like Meg's version. Yeah, I, nah, I wasn't nah, a big fan of Nikki's version. Nah, Meg. No, Nick's. Nikki's wasn't it. She was a half coke. <laughs> nah, Nick, Nikki. Nikki was. Uh, she was in the pool struggling to get air, bro. She was drowning. <laughs> she was drowning. Nobody that was threw a unreal. life. Nobody yeah. threw a life raft, bro. You know. <laughs> so Tim Light Skin, what are you? Get, get, some, get some far. Oh, Drake. Drake. I'm oh, not Drake. Kendrick's. This was whack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Off top. <laughs> Off weak. Weak. Weak, weak. But you said all of these were weak too. Huh? They are all, all of my oh, yeah, weak. Yeah. So Kendrick is weaker than the weaker, <laughs> weakest one that he put out. That, that's how hey, bro, team so, likes get all hey, it, it, him, hey, bro. Even though we take it, I got to rap with him, bro. Real quick though, is it because it's so frequent now that it really loses its value of being a diss? Because you know it's kind of like the OJ thing. You know when OJ happened, everybody it was like the thing of the world. But now we see it so much that we don't even care. Kind of, you know what I mean? And, and it's not like the buy album radio. I wish, I wish J Cole didn't drop it. Like when Fifty Cent and Cameron, or when Fifty Cent in the game, like people pulling up the radio stations, like ah oh, okay he dropped that. Shh, I'm gonna be in New York on Friday. Facts. Hey, I'm pulling up K Slate. Uh, mm-hmm. hey, yeah, I'm about to drop this yeah. on the air. Yep. Now you don't have that no yep. more. Mm-hmm. People can take a month. Yep. Get in the studio. Oh, by the way, three people wrote that Drake diss, mm-hmm. and Kendrick <laughs> wrote his own. Yeah. So you know what I mean, like. And that don't even get really. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't even care about, about that. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for me, it's like the same. Y'all brought up J Cole. J. Cole never wanted to do that. No. Nah, yeah, I feel I feel like Kendrick never wanted to do that. I just feel like Drake, I think, I think Drake wanted, kept, to. wanted to, wanted to yeah. but he had to sacrifice his his brother yeah. to get to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I think he didn't really I, want to I shoot that. Like Kendrick at didn't J. Cole. Really want to. I, I don't think Kendrick looks at Drake as competition. And when you look at numbers, Drake is up there. But as far as rapping right. and being a lyrical artist, Kendrick don't look at Drake as competition. Nah, uh, Ken, Kendrick's up. Over everybody yeah, but Drake. Ex- ex- <laughs> like, he got three songs. I looked up. He's got three songs alone that sold more than, like, everybody else in Bob and the Beefs, almost all their albums combined. You talking about Drake? Stream-wise, this, no. No, Kendrick I, has three songs yeah. alone that has more streams than almost everybody else in Bob and the Beat. Yeah. Albums combined. Yeah, so yeah. it's just like. I'm disappointed in J. Cole. Yeah, J. Cole just, should, <laughs> J. Cole just shouldn't have responded if yeah. you didn't want to do it. That's the light-skinned I to know, the bro. bone, that's what they I do. Like, bro, you, just, you, you can't get in a fight in the halfway and be like, think, nah, I don't want to fight no more, bro. I'm good. Like, nah, it's hip hop, bro. You got to see and, this thing through. And J. Cole felt you know. like he needed to do that, but I just felt like in his heart, he didn't want to do that. Did y'all know that they was calling uh, Kendrick telling him to stand down? Who was? They were. That's what he said in the, in the disc. Yeah. Uh, He's like, quit calling. Yeah. See? They, uh, see, this is the thing. This is how you know light skin knows light skin behavior. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. Joe Button. Said the Ken, he said, J. Cole is nice, but he's also nice. So he's a nice yeah, rapper, he's a but nice he's person. nice, nice guy. Yeah. And so he's like, I think he wanted to be in this light, and he started making more radio type songs when he was just a conscious guy. Mm-hmm. And and he said, I don't think he's ready for the lights to shine this bright. Nah, I and think then he's he cool dropped being, it. Yeah. And then two days later, he apologized. <laughs> so he was like, like, Yeah, bro, I don't want that smoke, bro. I'm good. We, I'm, we cool yeah. over here. But, uh, he tossed and turned all night in the street. <laughs> Is that what sweat. he was doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, we great getting up out of here. We appreciate everybody who tuned in through the Via Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitter Live, all the lives. We appreciate everybody who listened on the airways. Y'all already know who and what it is. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, KY Beyond the Game. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast on all major podcast streaming platforms. We getting ready getting on the battery here as always. Treat somebody how you want somebody. Treat your mama. We're about to thank y'all. Peace. What time the Lakers play tonight? Stop it, Ralph.